hi guys welcome back to another video of create a stack today in this video we are going to create a text to a speech converter using html css and javascript if i write something in this text box and click on this listen button it will convert that text into this speech so let me type something and click on this button Welcome to Great Stack. In this tutorial, you will learn to make a text to speech converter using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Please like and share this video with your friends and subscribe Great Stack YouTube channel. So it is converting this text into this speech. We can also change the voices. We can click on this drop down and select the different voice. And click on the listen button again. Welcome to Great Stack. In this tutorial, you will learn to make a text to speech converter using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Please like and share this video with your friends and subscribe Great Stack YouTube channel. We have multiple voices here to select. Welcome to Great Stack. We will learn to create this text to a speech converter step by step, so keep watching this video till the end. Here in this folder, I have one HTML file, one CSS file and another folder called images and in this one you can see two icons that I will be using on this web page. Let me open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structure and this one is the CSS file. In this HTML file I have added this title text to a speech converter great stack. Then I have added this link tag to connect the HTML file with the CSS file. Next we will add the code within this body tag. So here let's create one div with the class name hero. And next we will add the CSS for this div. So write this class name here in this CSS file and here we will add width, height and background. So let's add. In this background I am adding the linear gradient color. So first we will add one angle then two color codes here we will add display flex align item center justify content center and flex direction column so all the contents inside this div will be in the center after adding this let's come back to the folder and open this html file with any web browser so you can see this gradient color on the complete web page. Let me close this browser and I will open it with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server so that it will refresh the web page automatically. So you can see the same web page again. Now we will add some text on this web page. So let's come back to the HTML file and here we will add one text in h1 tag. Text to a speech converter. You can see this text in the center of this web page after this we will add one text area where we can type any text so let's come back and here we will add text area in this one we will add the placeholder write anything here and after this text area there will be one drop down select box and one button so here we will add one div with the class name row and within this row we will add select and in this select there will be some options with the different voices so that we will add using javascript so right now we are just adding select and after that we will add one button and button text is listen after adding this come back to the web page and here you can see this text then text area one drop down and here we have the button now we will add the css for these so just come back and here in this css file let's add hero h1 so for this title we will increase the font size font weight and we will add some margin so let's add We have added font size, font weight, margin top and margin bottom. And we have to change the color of this text which is converter. So we will add one a span tag around this converter. 
span open and close here and add the css for this span here we will add dot hero h1 span so in this span let's add different color code so you can see this color for this converted text and we have to add the white color in the rest of the text so let's come back and here in this hero let's add color white so you can see this text in white color next we will add the css for the text area here we have the text area write it here for this one let's add the css properties So for this text area, I have added width height, then changed the background and the text color. Then I have added the font size, border outline 0 and added some padding that will be space inside the text area. Border radius is 10 pixels so that the corners will be round and resize none so the text area is not resizable. And I have added margin at the bottom so we will get a space at the bottom of this text area. So let's see this text input field is looking good just we have to change the color of this placeholder so let's come back here we will add text area placeholder and let's change the font size and color So you can see it is looking good. Next we will add the CSS to align this button and this select box. Let's come back and here we have the div with the class name row. So write this class name here and for this row we will add width. It will be 600 pixel and we will add display flex. Then align item center and gap. It will be 20 pixel it is here next we will add the CSS for the button so let's add the button tag for this button I have added the background color font size padding border radius, border outline 0 and cursor pointer. So this button looks good. Next we have to add one icon inside this button. So just come back. In this button we will add one img tag and write the file path of the image. So we will add the folder name slash play.png which is the file name for the play icon. You can see this icon here. So we have to add the CSS to align this icon. Let's come back. Here we will add button img. So let's add the width. It will be very small 16 pixel and margin from the right side 10 pixel. And in this button we will add display flex align items center. So this play icon is looking good next we have to add the css for this drop down select box let's come back here we have the select just copy this one add it here here we will add in this select i have added flex one so it will use the entire space available in the row then change the color and background we have added the height and padding outline and border 0 border radius 35 pixel so you can see it is looking like this next we have to hide this small drop down and here we will add our own icon so let's come back and here we will add appearance none so that small 
drop icon will be hidden you can see it's hidden next we have to add our own drop icon let's come back here we will add background image url and in this url we have to add the file path of our own image so write the folder name images slash drop down dot png we have added this icon in our folder here we will add background repeat no repeat then we have to change the background size so we will add the background size 15 pixel and next we have to add the background position so let's add the background position in x so background position x will be c a l c 100 percent minus 20 pixels so it will be in the right side and we will get 20 pixel space from the right side let's add the background position in y direction so here we will add y and it will be only 20 pixel that's it now you can see this our own drop icon is looking good but if i click here there is nothing in this drop down so we will add the different voices name using javascript after designing this page we will add the javascript to convert the text into the speech right now we can type anything here but it will not work so we have to add the javascript so let's come back here we will click on this icon to create a new file and add the file name script.js so you can see this new file it is blank and next we have to connect this script file with the html file so in this html file above this closing body tag we will add a script src and file name which is script.js so the script file and html file are connected now in this script file let's add one variable let speech equal to new speech synthesis uterans then we will add document dot query selector button we have to add the click event on the button so we will add query selector button dot add event listener click we have to add the click event and in this one let's add speech dot text equal to document dot query selector and here we have to get the value written in the text area so we will add text area dot value and next we have to add one more line window dot speech synthesis dot speak and here just add speech after adding this let's come back to the website and here if i type something in this text area and click on this listen button hello how are you doing i am good how about you it is converting this text in the speech next we have to add one more feature which is changing the voices to change the voices let's come back let's add a space here and here we will add one variable using let add voices and it will be one blank array here again add let voice select equal to document dot query selector 
and in this query selector we will add this select then window dot speech synthesis dot on voice changed here we will add this voices equal to window dot a speech synthesis dot get voices This get voices will provide all the voices available on the device. Then we have to add speech dot voice equal to voices index zero. So by default, it will speak in the first voice that is available on the device. Next, we have to display each voices in the drop down. So here we will add voices for each voice comma i voice select dot options index i new option voice dot name it will be closed here And after adding this, let's come back to the website. Here you can see all the voices in this drop down. But if I click on any one, it will not work. Next, we have to add one more thing that is change event on this drop down. Let's come back. Here we will add voice select add event listener change. and just add a speech dot voice equal to voices voice select dot value so it will change the speech voice that will be selected in the drop down after adding this let's come back and here if i type and click on the listen hello how are you doing i am good how about you it is playing the sound in the default voice and here we can change the voice hello how are you doing i am good how about you let me change the text and click on the button please like and share this video with your friends and subscribe great stack youtube channel Again change the audio. Please like and share this video with your friends and subscribe Great Stack YouTube channel. Please like and share this video with your friends and subscribe Great Stack YouTube channel. So this is how you can create text to a speech converter with the voice changes option. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel Greatest Tech. Thank you so much for watching this video.